I'm showing you how to transfer a world from Bedrock to Java Edition. So here in Minecraft Bedrock Edition, we have a pretty normal looking world. Um, apart from this, which is for my Anarchy Realm, which is going to be launching soon. Subscribe to stay tuned for that. Um, anyways, basically, we're going to be going to be converting this to Java Edition. So I can save and quit right here. Make sure you know which world you want to convert. Then you want to click on this edit button scroll down and then click on export world right over here then you can save this for example to your desktop just make sure you know where it is then i can click on export and now as you can see the world has been successfully exported now i did just also want to say that in the description i will link a tutorial on how you can transfer your minecraft worlds from for example an ipad to your laptop and if you combine that tutorial with this one, you can transfer worlds from, for example, an old iPad or an old iPhone to, well, your laptop and then to Java Edition as well. Anyways, we can now close Minecraft over here. And as you can see on my desktop, we have the world. To convert your worlds, you want to head over to the website called chunker.app, and this is actually... I believe not owned by Mojang or Microsoft, but it is supported and recognized by them. Um, this works incredibly well. So what we're going to do is upload an archive. You want to click on that button over there. Then for my desktop, I'm going to select the world. As you see, we got it right over there. Then once you have the world selected, you can click on start upload and it's going to be uploading world. Once the world upload has finished, you'll actually be able to choose what you want to export it as. We're going to scroll all the way down and we'll find the Java edition versions. Now I'm just going to export it to the latest non-beta version of Java edition, which in this case is 1.20.3. You can of course choose any other version here as well. Once I've selected the one I want, I can click on convert and download, and the conversion will start. And now a few seconds later, the world is ready to download. We can click on this green download button over here, and the download will automatically start. Now as you can see in my downloads, I have the Java Edition world, and to put this in Java Edition, it's pretty simple. We can click on Windows and R at the same time, and then when this box, you want to type in a percentage sign, app data, and then another percentage sign, just like so. You can then hit on enter or just click OK. That should bring you into either this folder right here or this one. Either way, you want to make sure that you're in the folder called roaming. Anyways, here you want to go into the folder called .minecraft and then you might need to scroll down a little and you'll find the folder called saves. In here, you'll find all of your Minecraft Java Edition worlds. If you've never created a Minecraft Java Edition world before, there might not be a folder called saves. And if that's the case, then you can just right click and create one. Just make sure you don't make it a capital letter. Now back to this world in our downloads. You'll notice that all of these worlds over here are regular file folders and this one isn't. So we need to right click on it, then click on extract all. If you don't have the option to be able to do that, then you might need to download a program called 7-zip or WinRAR to be able to do that action, and I will link those down in the description if you need it. Anyways, we can click on extract over here, and it'll extract it right there for us. Then all we need to do is simply drag this folder into the saves folder. As you can see, there's a little bit of white bar around uh, the right side of my cursor. Make sure it says move to saves and not, for example, move to and then something else. If it says this, that means I might accidentally drag it into this folder, which we don't want, because that's another world. We want to drag it into the saves folder. It might sound obvious, but sometimes people accidentally drag their worlds into another world and it doesn't end up working. Anyways, now we can close both of these folders and you can delete the zip file if you want to because we don't need it anymore. What you can do now is start up the Minecraft launcher. Great, now as you can see right at the top over here we have the Desis Anarchy world. And to open it up I can simply just click on it like so. Then the world up world will load up for the first time. The first time it loads it might take a little bit longer. 
Anyways, here in the world, I can't actually see anything, and I'm a little bit confused. Now, with porting these worlds, keep in mind that it's not always going to be perfect, right? So if you run into an error just like this, what you want to do is go slash game, game mode and then spectator. Now that I'm in spectator mode, I can freely look around over here, and apparently I was put underneath the ground somewhere. Anyways, that's absolutely fine, because... As you can see, the world has been successfully ported over. Here is the Desus Anarchy massive sign, and here is, as you can see, the uh, Mesa biome right here. And then, of course, the massive ocean there as well. Anyways, um, that was basically that. It should literally be uh, this simple. Um, I'll go back to creative mode real fast. Anyways, if you do have any more questions or you're struggling with something, then um, do, of course, feel free to let me know down in the comments, and I'll do my best to help you out. For right now, though, thank you ever so much for watching, and I do hope to see you again in the next one. Bye-bye.